Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We're going to talk about a few projects, uh, certificate of deposit platforms in general, that I am increasing my deposits on while we are seeing downside in the market. Okay guys, and that is to hedge against the downside and increase not only my holdings of the asset if I just want to hold that asset, but obviously increase, you know, my, you know, USD value. Uh, to be able to use those, uh, you know, accumulated funds to buy into other coins or tokens, um, you know, while they are down. Okay, guys, because your money is going to be made in the bear market. People look at a bear market as a bad thing all the time. It is if you're, you know, if you if you didn't take profits and you kind of time the market wrong. No one's ever going to be able to time the market right, to be honest. But they can be a gift and a good thing for you if you're looking to accumulate. So we're going to start with my diamond team. Before we do, um, just to give you a little bit of uh, my mindset on this, I posted this on Twitter uh, and in Telegram various groups um, a couple of days ago. Okay, and what I said is a bear market will mean a DeFi explosion. Everyone is going to be looking for somewhere to put their previous profits from the bull market to work and earn some passive income while the blue chips tumble. It will bring a lot of attention to various DeFi projects. Just a theory. Okay. Which is why I am, you know, glad to be positioned in DeFi. Um, anything I'm holding, I want to be earning some yield on it. So if I'm not holding stable coins, if I'm getting into a particular token or project, um, you know, um, setting aside some of the, you know, ones that I'm bullish on for long term. These are not, we're not talking about long term holds. We're talking about passive incomes right now. So there are a few projects that I am holding on to. There's a few vesting schedules that I'm in, in terms of IDOs and things like that. So I'm not including those in this, okay? Um, but you know, if, if I had the control over some of the, the, some of those assets, I would have sold at the top, but I don't. Okay, guys. However, when you're up a hundred X, a hundred and, you know, a hundred X plus on certain projects anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can hold on to them long term. And when the bull market comes, they're going to pump anyways. But starting with my diamond team. Okay. So my diamond team, um, when I did the last update on this, I said I was going to be getting this up to the maximum deposit which if you read in the small print, the max deposit on this project is 25 BNB per wallet. Okay, so I have been increasing. I added a little bit more to it today. I've been compounding. As you can see, my withdrawn is only $229, which is about 4% of my portfolio in this project. So I've got this up to about 5.5K, which is 15.6 BNB. Okay, guys, so I need to put another 9.39 or 9.38 and some change BNB into this in order to get myself up to max deposit. And then what you'll see is as the price of BNB is falling, I'm getting 365% on this. And if it bounces anyway, um, you know, by the time we get a full ROI, we're looking at about, I don't know, eight months on this. Um, so within that time, if I'm just collecting BNB into my, uh, my uh, withdrawal balance, okay, we're obviously going to have a lot more BNB. Right now, it's 15.61 BNB in there. Right now, my max payout is 56.3 BNB. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be when I've, um, you know, got it up to the 25 BNB max deposit. But we're going to have a lot more BNB than what we put in. And if I'm buying BNB or putting BNB in as it's coming down, I'm averaging into it. Um, of course, by the time this goes back up, I'm going to have a lot more um, return on my investment and not only that is paying me daily passively 1.5% a day so if I did need to use some of those funds um, you know I could use them for whatever if I decide to do that or if I just want to hold the bag okay just hold the bag for long term I can do that but I'm going to have a lot more than what I put in or the 25 BNB max that I'm eventually going to have in here I'm going to get a lot more BNB for that and I'm going to return on my investment faster if we're talking about the USD value if the price turns around, if the price doesn't turn around, it continues down. Of course, my return on investment will still come. It will come longer. But, you know, you can just hold on to BNB. BNB is a blue chip. It's a long term asset with long term value, um, which is the common perception. So, you know, you, uh, with this project, I'm comfortable in being in it. Um, I gave you reasons before the simple fact that, you know, what they did with my diamond team version one, after they had the hack or exploit, or whatever it was, they allow people to withdraw their full ROI balances. Okay, I couldn't because I had already um, got more of an ROI on mine. Uh, but yeah, they launched version two. And this one has 
Total, over 10,000 BNB deposits of all time, 10,300. Total withdrawn, 3967. So if you go to the verified contract, you'll see that there's a lot of BNB in here. We're looking at two point, almost 2.2 .2 million um, in dollar value, okay? And uh, the balance is 6,152 BNB. So this is a pretty successful project, in my opinion, at the moment. And definitely one I think that you'll save in putting your money into. Uh, which brings me to the next project, which is created by the same exact team. All right, guys. Now, when I went back into Piston Race, I bought into the pre-sale. Um, I ended up selling, taking uh, taking profit, about 5x profit or something like that. Um, it did fall, and I bought it back um, after, okay? And ever since, it's been going up. Now, they created my diamond team as well, which is why I'm bullish on both. Okay, if I can trust them with this, obviously I can trust them with that. It's the same team. They reimburse people from version one of my diamond team. So, you know, they're building up a bit of a reputation. And this is getting a lot more, um, you know, influencer uh, uh, coverage. Okay, so they are doing marketing. And, you know, these two come together. They come together. Um, as you can see, my diamond team on here. Um, the only difference is, is obviously my diamond team is BNB in, BNB out. With Piston, it's uh, you use BUSD to buy your Piston. If you come over to um, the swap page, and what you'll find is um, the last video I said that I wasn't staked in the in the race. Okay, um, as you can see now, I am staked in the race. Okay, I have some skin in the game. Okay, uh, but not only that, I am holding some of this liquid as well. So I've got about. 8k in the race i also have about 8k maybe about 8.1 almost 8200 in liquid as well so best of both worlds okay i'm getting one percent a day in the race up to 365 percent this isn't from team building i've got a few people on the team but i haven't received much um from uh from the people on my team the very small deposits okay and um yeah, I, I'm getting a one percent a day, up to three hundred and sixty-five percent um, on on the uh, on the race, and also I'm getting a price appreciation from the liquid assets that I'm hold in Piston, which I can sell at any time. Okay, so in the race, I can only take my dividends, all right, uh, but I've got just as much as I've got in the race as I have in liquid and vice versa. So I've got the best of both worlds. If this does something crazy, ten x, twenty x, thirty x, maybe who knows. Um, I could just take profit here, okay, and with this balance as well, I can just compound or I can take my 1% a day and, um, yeah, um, you know, just put that put that aside. Um, none of this is from, um, from the race, okay, that's just what I bought liquid and everything in the race I've been compounding, I haven't been withdrawing from this as well. As you can see, my max payout is 1,089 piston. And my withdrawn is about 20, uh, 20, almost 21 piston, which I've just been compounding into there. So pretty happy with this one. I've given you my reasons why I'm bullish on both of them. With this one, you can earn more on your BNB. Uh, with this one, obviously, you can go and you can put your BUSD in and earn more piston tokens as the price appreciates. And the price has been going up pretty well uh, since we did the last video. It went from about $12, $13 right now is sitting at about 20 almost 27 dollars 26 and a half okay so pretty bullish on this one i'm liking what i'm seeing they've got some pretty good updates um that you know a few things have changed they've got they've actually got a hackathon okay so that's good we want to know that their security and you know they're offering people you know some kind of um you know incentive or for the for the bug bounty if you know what a bug bounty program is okay guys so you know it's just an extra layer of safety and um yeah i mean i'm pretty um, pretty bullish on this one um you guys can check out the details the links are in the description if you want to use my body links okay and yeah we're going to move on to drip network i haven't done many updates on drip network okay um but drip network i am going to start going heavier back into drip network once it reaches a certain point okay guys because i do believe there could potentially be more downside for this uh, with everything that's been going on with the animal farm and things like that for those of you that are following the um forex uh, shark and his projects you'll know we've been waiting a while for the animal farm to unpause um i i expected it to be unpaused by now but that is a completely 
whole other video um, okay but with drip network um, it's down to about $21 okay I anticipate it will come down it may come down further there's potential for that when you look at the chart we're not going to pull up the chart when you look at the actual chart you can go and look at it on pancake swap or deck screen or wherever you uh, you know you'd prefer um, there could be more downside for drip okay however there is going to be more marketing coming on this project now I have two accounts this one at one point was about seventy thousand dollars so this has come down a whole lot um, since then right it's come down a whole lot okay and uh, my balance has dwindled down I have been both withdrawing and compounding on this account I also have a second account if we just switch I have a second account where I am only uh, compounding okay so um, very rarely do I take a withdrawal on this account okay this is my compound only account okay and that's gone down as well I believe this was closer to you know uh, you know uh, you know 13,000 or, or something I'm not sure I can't remember okay but I'm just compounding on this account okay now obviously as the price comes down the compounding effect is slower so your uh, your USD value is not increasing as much but your drip value is always going to be the same you're always going to get you know 1% on the amount of drip that you're getting okay but obviously as the USD value goes down it's, it's working out less in USD but if this does turn around which a lot of people believe it will and I believe it will otherwise I won't still be compounding on this account uh, when this turns around hopefully um, you know pretty soon uh, we're going to see some gains and going back to what i was saying about promotion for it shark is saying that once the animal farm is up and running and everything sorted with that he's going to put his full focus and attention on drip partnerships all that sort of stuff so this of course for me um is a bullish project long term okay um certificate of deposit is paying you one percent a day up to 365 percent so you can take advantage of this at the end of the day this is probably the most popular uh one out of all of them um for all of the right reasons a lot of millionaires have been made on drip network okay and um yeah i believe that you know getting at a lower price is what a lot of people would have wanted at one point in time when this was up about 190 dollars almost um you know you're getting it for 21 dollars 22 dollars at this point in time okay so eventually if i see this start to drop below 15 dollars um towards 10 dollars and things like that i think i'm going to start increasing my position injecting more capital just to take advantage of those low prices because compounding isn't doing it as quick for me there's still people with like you know half a million dollars balance and almost a million dollars and things like that they're taking advantage um but yeah once it turns around a lot of people are going to be very happy um if they are compounding and taking advantage of the low prices okay guys moving on to splassive okay now we need to switch the network because Splassive is of course on the Avalanche network, okay? But Splassive has been going down. Splassive has been going down. However, I am still bullish on Splassive. I've not been adding more to it, okay? Um, you know, uh, I have been compounding some and withdrawing some. It is down to $3, okay? Now when it relaunched, it peaked at about $12. I believe it was about $12. We're looking at $11 plus. I remember it being about $12. But since then, it has been going down. It's been getting these bounces along the way. Okay. And I believe this bounce is when they launch these splash pads. Of course, they've got the splash pads. I haven't gone into the splash pads. Any of you that have been following the channel, you know what the splash pads are, how you can take advantage of those, up to 3% a day. Um, uh, increasing on a weekly basis starts at 1%. First week, 2%. Second week, 3%. Third week, every time you claim it goes back to 1%. So that's a little bullish feature. Okay. But the price hasn't been, you know, going up. Uh, or holding maintaining uh, because of just the original exploit okay it can come rolling back because this is crypto and at the end of the day there's new people coming into the space and people can easily forget about what happened before however we're not seeing a lot of videos on it okay um i believe that those people that are in splassive okay that survive th through the exploit and had their balances restored they should really be talking about it you know only only because it's their own bag okay um but it depends how you feel whether you think that you know this
project can't be trusted or the developer can't be trusted because of his track record or whatever. I think it's pretty bullish. And when we turn about, uh, when we talk about um, fixing the issue and relaunching in a uh, timely manner, um, you know, I can't fault the developer on doing what he did and getting this back out. Not only that, but restoring people's balances. Okay, so I'm still bullish on this project. Okay, uh, my buying action is not going to reflect that. However, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to fud my own bag. I'm going to compound some. I'm going to withdraw some, take advantage. Okay, I've done a couple of airdrops still. They haven't been as much as before because the price has gone down. Okay, so I can't give away. I, at one point, I was giving away about $2,000 every Saturday, something close to that. I'm not doing that anymore because I'm not getting $2,000 a day on this project anymore. <laughs> so uh, we're looking about, what, 180 plus a day while the price is at this price. Okay, but um, I still like the project. Got nothing bad to say about it at this point. They've made, um, you know, um, updates and they have a game coming out. So when the markets turn back round, hopefully we can get some bullish price action with Splassive. But the link is in the description if you want to take advantage of the low prices once again. Take advantage. Okay, so the final certificate of the project platform we're going to talk about is Gale Network. You might have seen me talking about this a little bit. We're not going to go through everything about it, but this is a 1.2% daily certificate, certificate of deposit platform which I am bullish on, especially while it's early and not many people know about it or are talking about it yet. Um, the 7,778% is through compounding, okay? That's what you can earn if you're compounding over 365 days, but it is 1.2% daily interest. Now, this one, um, some people call it a drip fork. I, I, I would say that this is more like a Rex a copy of Rex, okay, something like Rex or he the way Hex was at the beginning, okay. Now, with this one, I probably have the biggest balance out of all of them at the moment because I've been taking advantage of the auction, okay. So, if we go to the windmill, okay, I've got 6.5 million in deposits, okay, which works out, I believe, at about 20 plus thousand dollars, okay. So, this is paying me 1.2% a day, and um, you can do the math on that my max payout is 28 million. Okay, so while the prices are low on this, I'm taking advantage. Okay, and uh, my Telegram group, they know my strategy. If you join the group, you'll know my strategy as well, how you can maximize on this, because we're getting pretty decent returns using the auction, okay? So the auction is a 180 day auction, right? And as you can see, some of the balances that I've been getting in the auction, I, I've, I think the biggest day that I went in was day 12, okay? But not only that, I have received some referrals and I got in on the pre-sale on this project, which is why my balance is so high. Okay, guys. But I really like this project and I think that it's got potential. Um, if you remember what happened with Rex, for those of you that have been, a lot, uh, been around for a year or more in uh, on the Binance Smart Chain and crypto, uh, Rex was one that took off. Okay. A lot of people didn't know about it for a long time and people were taking advantage of the auctions. The chart just went nuts, okay, guys? And people made a lot of money on Rex. I believe I'm going to make a lot of money on Gale Network because I'm early. And I'm telling you about it. I'm not hiding it. I'm letting people know they can take advantage of the early opportunities as well. There's an auction every day. We're only on day 14. That's how early you are. It's a 180-day auction, okay, guys? Now, you can also buy it on the, uh, the open market. Uh, when you buy it in the auction, you can only claim to stake, okay? Um, but if you're buying it on the open market, obviously you can hold it and you can trade it and you can sell it when it goes up or whatever. With this, uh, with the auction, you're claiming to stake, so you can only get your 1.2% out a day, bearing that in mind. They have the lottery, okay, if you guys want to take advantage of that, and the NFTs, uh, they, they give you um, access to the lottery, okay, you get tickets, you also get guaranteed launch pad slots when they, when they put out their launch pad and so on, okay, guys, but one of the features that they've built into it since is the fact that when you go into auction, a portion of that is now going to the liquidity, okay, obviously that's important because when people are buying, if people are buying in an auction and not on an open market, the liquidity is not going to build up on, on the open market, okay, so um, obviously what they've done now is uh, going to help get liquidity into the actual 
project, okay, guys? Because anyone that comes over sees low liquidity, they might think, you know what, stay away from that. But the liquidity is going to be building up through the auction now, which is a good feature on this. So I'm super bullish on this one. I saved it till last. All right, guys, and um, because this is the least popular of them and the least uh, the least well known out of all of the ones that we've spoken about today. But I believe that when people find out exactly what this is and how they can potentially make money on this and be super early, take advantage of the auctions. Um, I believe that, uh, you know, this one's going to take off in the long run, especially when the marketing starts coming in. They ramp up the marketing. Remember, this is only 14 days old. So I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Take advantage, guys. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Remember what I said on Twitter. I believe that DeFi is going to explode. All those people that made money in the bull, in the bull market, all right, they're going to be sitting on tons of cash, sitting on tons of crypto, and they're going to think, how can I put this to work? Okay, guys, they're thinking the same way that I'm thinking. They're thinking the same way that a few people that, uh, that I know are thinking, or at least they're going to be thinking that way if they're not already. Some people probably haven't grasped, grasped the fact that we could be going into a bear market yet. Uh, but once they do realize that, maybe they're going to start putting the crypto that they're holding at least to work and the stable coins to work so that they can better position themselves to take advantage of the low prices that are coming if in fact we do go into a bear market that's the end of the video like comment and subscribe guys i'll see you in the very next one